Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Buxton Barrowman, where I go through Buxton's history and clean up the town at the same time. Today I'm going to talk about the local legend of Dickie's Skull and the village home to this mysterious story. Now in true me fashion, I'm going to walk to the village of Tonstead to go find this skull. It's a lovely walk from Buxton through Green Fairfield towards the village. On the way, there is this rather amazing little shortcut that no map software thinks exists and for a good reason, as I'm currently walking through the active Tunstead quarry. This quarry deserves its own episode in the future so look out for that. But as I pass through the quarry, I'm oh so close to the village of Tunstead, it's not a long walk, so I'll talk you through what Dickie's skull actually is. Well, it's a skull obviously, but it's not certain whose it is, and there's two main stories. The first is it's the skull of Ned Dickinson, who lived in Tunstead Farm in the mid to late 1500s. Ned was sent to war in France, and while he was over there some of the family members thought he'd never come back, and so took it upon themselves to share the assets he owned, including the farmhouse. However, he did return, obviously furious over the situation, and quite rightly wanted his valuables back. The family members weren't too keen on this, and so proceeded to lob his head off. Poor Ned. That's not why Ned's skull would become something of a legend. It was the fact, once buried in the garden, his severed skull made its way back into the house one night, where Ned insisted on staying. The other version of Dickie's skull is slightly different, this time the skull belongs to a woman who was killed by her sister after an argument over a man. And this version dates the death a few hundred years before the story of Ned Dickinson. Either way, it's an interesting and rather gruesome tale. Today it's a lesser known legend as Dickie was quite famous in the 1800s, they even sold postcards of the old cranium. And for the most of the skull's life, well, after life, I suppose, it sat in the windowsill at the top right of the room in Tunstead Farm. So let's go find it. Now, if you're a local watching this, you might have already spotted my mistake, but I was clearly in a world of my own. And as you can hear, I can't work out which one used to have Dickie's skull in it. I can't find the house. That's because I'm in Tunstead Village. Home of, well, more sheep than people, and not a cursed noggin. That actually resides in the village of Tunstead Milton, near Chapel and the Frith. I only noticed this a week later at work, and it being the Easter holidays, I'm working every day, so I quickly found some time after work to hop on a bus to the correct Tunstead. And it is a lovely village overlooking Coombs Reservoir. And at the top of this small lane going alongside it is Tunstead Farm. This window right here is where Dickie once overlooked the village. And I say once because recently the skull was finally laid to rest in Taxel Church. Or so it's believed. I can't confirm if Dickie is there or has escaped again. Before we end the episode though, Dickie is actually believed to have had some magical powers, other than, you know, coming out of the grave and all that. See, there's a bridge on the lane towards the house the railway had to build in the 1870s, as they were finally building a railway between Waitley Bridge and Buxton. However, those building the bridge never sought out Dickie's permission to do so, and supposedly the first attempt at building the bridge ended in it sinking and the workers getting ill. Also, the bridge is still called Dickie's, which is great to see. And Dickie was also noted to have helped a farmer by opening and closing every gate before them. Now that is some bragging rights in the pub, if it was true. A stage play was also made around the legend. Whether it was good or not, I couldn't tell you, but it's drama number nine in Plays of Derbyshire Life. So I'll leave a pin in the description for the location of Tunstead Farm, Dickie's Skull, but of course, be respectful, it is someone's home at the end of the day. Finally, I did clean up for this video, just one quick wheelbarrow full from Heath Park. That's pretty much it from what this episode I'm nicknaming The Tale of Two Tonsters. 
Hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ra.